Welcome to this video which has been sponsored by DYU eBikes. Whether you're looking for a fast, foldable bike to make your commute to the train station faster, funner and better, or a giant monster like the bike in this video, DYU is the place to go. The bike I will be reviewing today is the DYU King 750. First of all, it's a big bike. It weighs around 40 kilograms, but this is no surprise if you consider the specs this thing has. It comes with a 750 watt battery that will take you up to 129 kilometers far and with a peak performance of 900 watts which results in 75 mm of torque. This is almost twice as much as the Citroen Ami. So with specs like this, it isn't crazy that it has giant 26 inch by four inch tires, hydraulic disc brakes in the front and back and front suspension. It furthermore comes with a removable battery and Shimano group set. The bike is rather large but it fit me fine and I'm around 183 or 6 foot. Also my little sister who is only 154 centimeters, like I don't know, 3 foot probably, was also able to ride it, as you can see in this clip. But let's get into some real riding. To start the bike you simply hold down the power button and it will turn on. You get the display which shows you how fast you're going, how far you've ridden and most importantly what power setting you're in. The bike has three power settings. One, which gives you an assist up to 25 kmh. Two, up to 35. And three is max power, which will get up to 45 kilometers an hour or 28 miles an hour. To change power setting, you simply press the plus and minus button above and below the power button. To get the power, you simply pedal and the bike will help you get up to your desired speed. But the bike also has this half twist gas. You first have to twist it halfway and after that the bike will accelerate on its own. DYU has done this so you don't accidentally touch the gas. And I certainly understand because the acceleration is pretty hard. Like I mentioned before, even smaller people can ride it because the seat has a large range of adjustment. It's also a pretty comfortable seat, but to be fair, normally I ride on these kind of seats, so... Mm. But even off-road, the ride is surprisingly comfortable, even though the front suspension has a rather limited travel range. But due to the seat having shock absorption and the tires being so enormous, it almost feels smoother than a mountain bike with twice the front suspension. The front suspension on a DYU can also be adjusted, but personally I would recommend keeping it quite loosey-goosey, especially if your commute has rough surfaces or potholes. Of course, being in the forest, I had to test the upper performance. I tested two hills, both around the same steepness but slightly different looseness. When going on them with my mountain bike, I have to be in like one of the lightest gears and go like 3 kmh, but the DYU went up it with no problems. Even the second hill, which has a looser surface, wasn't a problem for the giant knobby tires. Even on the downhill parts, it was surprisingly good. I had my concerns with a bike that comes mostly pre-assembled, but the key parts you have to tighten yourself anyway. But, to be fair, I checked the tightness of the bolts that were already assembled and they were all great. The only thing I added to the bike was some dry loop on the chain, but for the rest it was ready to go after assembling it. And even the most important safety features, the brakes, were great. They give you crazy stopping power, so be careful slamming them. I did some braking tests and it stopped incredibly fast even though it's a 40kg bike. I'm really just talking a couple meters, like, but it's actually pretty good. I must say I enjoyed this bike way more than I was expecting. Of course, I can't eat it like a mountain or road bike, but I expect it to be a lot more sluggish being over 40 kilograms. But the battery helps you so much that you totally forget the weight. Also, you expect it to fat tires to be way worse for small turns, but it was actually quite manageable, and they helped a lot with stability when driving at high speeds. And in the end, this high speed is why you would buy this bike. Driving at top speed is a beautiful experience, which still feels safe and manageable due to its features like the tires and the brakes. But should you buy this bike? Well, it depends. I think it really depends on your situation. If you would like to make longer trips to nature without putting in too much effort, this bike is great. But I could also see it being used to commute to work due to its high speed and big range of over 100 kilometers. 
So if you, for example, live like 10 to 25 kilometers away from your work, this could be a great way to skip traffic and generally have a cheaper and more fun commute. I wouldn't recommend it for going to the train station or city because let's be fair, it probably would get stolen. But if your city has an option for secured parking, then by all means, go for it. But if not, BYU also offers a range of foldable bikes that allow you to take your bike with you in the train. So whatever your situation, DYU has a bicycle for you.